Hey guys, Merry Christmas. Welcome back to Warren Club Aston. It's not quite Christmas, but it's almost. Well, the um, Santa Claus the Postman arrived this morning with my uh, new order from Danny, the table topper. Um, and as you can see in front of you, it's the uh, Bulge Americans. I was waiting for the Bulge British, because uh, obviously I've got a major British force for late war Germany. Uh, late war Germany. Late war British. Um, but obviously that's not going to arrive till next year and uh, we've got another lockdown here in Holland so I can't race my radio control cars so uh, they're all sat on the shelf now waiting for uh, when we come out of this stupid lockdown but anyway to keep me busy I bought the Bulge Americans so uh, I'll let you show you I'll just show you what I've uh, ordered obviously the book nice book it's quite thick there's a lot in it, loads and loads and loads and loads of tanks, loads of troops, obviously different formations, different brigades, uh, Bastogne, uh, tank destroyer battalions, and then uh, all the way to support. And then you've got the bulge battles, roadblock, and then you've got special fighting in the fog, winter weather. I have ordered the winter troops to do a Battle of the Adenas um, list, infantry list. Supported with a couple of tanks, obviously, because tanks are king. Um, but they will probably come uh, later in the year. So there's obviously all the options you can buy. And then uh, other armies. And then the nice map in the back. Lovely book, great book. Now, that's what I bought. But also, I decided, while I'm ordering, let's have the dice tin and both cards. Dice tin I've got for the Russians and the British. So now I've got for the Americans. Unit cards I always buy because I'm always short of them. I use them with every unit. And the command cards because it's a must apparently. There's a lot of, there's a few good command cards in there. So they're a must. <coughs> Excuse me. And then I bought not only one, but I actually bought two of the starter forces. Um, because I wanted uh, more Shermans to run a complete Sherman platoon company, sorry. And um, I wanted the infantry so I could run a para platoon. Um, and by the time I'd bought a second para platoon and uh, another box of Shermans, I was at the, the almost at the price for a second starter force. So uh, I bought a second starter box. Um, I'll probably not use these. I don't know what they're called. Canalopes? Canalopes? Somebody correct me on that one. I probably won't use these. But I do have some old turrets left over from the English when I built my... Uh, fireflies so i should be able to use the turrets from the english shermans on these so then i'll have uh, three turrets obviously the 76 millimeter 75 millimeter and the canal canalope canalope so uh yeah that's uh, the models um also bought the 81 millimeter parachute uh, parachute 81 millimeter mortar platoon because I want a little bit of uh, artillery for them. And uh, it was 8 euros, so why not? They're soft plastic, uh, unfortunately, but never mind. At least the winter uh, dudes are still metal. So the quality should be a little bit better than the the flexi plastic. So, yeah, that's them. And then, um, as a Christmas present, amazing, I got these. The sprues in this are exactly the same as the spruce for the Shermans in the starter set. So, yeah, you can build out the starter set, you can buy the, you can build the 105 millimeters, or, because the the turret is the same as a 75 millimeter, but the obviously the barrel is different. <clears throat> so, I built uh, the 105 millimeters. Um, and with the list that I've got built for my Shermans, I needed four. So two of them are out of the box and two of them are out of the starter Z. Nicely built. Magnetised, of course. I magnetised everything. Um, extra stowage from the British Shermans that I've got left. I need to get some stuff 3D printed from a friend. And uh, yeah, that's the first of the Shermans built. I will probably come back shortly because I'm now on holiday with uh, how I've got everything built, what I think to the kits, 
apparently they're really nice kits to build. I've been watching uh, some YouTube videos of all miniatures, great and small. And uh, the kits are great to build, apparently. So uh, I'll crack on with them. And uh, I'll be back in a bit. I want to wish you all Merry Christmas. Stay safe out there. It's a crazy world. And uh, I'll be back soon. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye for now.